from my previous experience, I understand that there will be no free and fair election in this Osun state election because Nigeria is engulfed with politics of money rather than political democracy. When I mean politics of money, even when they have carried their campaign on several locations, but even at the polling unit, they still bribe some of the electorate to see how, to see where they can channel their vote to, rather than leaving the, the electorate to decide who wants to vote. On this ground, I noticed that EFCC arrested some person that was bribed. At that juncture, whatever the person have in mind, as long as you present them money before the person, whatever the person have in mind, Whoever he have in mind to vote, he won't, because money is attached to it, and it has been announced that that action shouldn't be taken, shouldn't take place anymore. Well, you see, it is a little bit difficult to begin to preempt uh, the outcome of the election, uh, because no, no man is God. Uh, but as Nigerians, having seen the Electoral Act, which is geared towards trying to sanitize the electoral system in Nigeria, I believe that uh, we should give ourselves some little bit of confidence that uh, we are going to do the, what they need for and in accordance with the Electoral Act, except proving otherwise, then we can begin to maybe perhaps identify where the lapses are for input for refinement in the subsequent elections. Well, we've not had any reports contrary, contrary to the results, and uh, if, there are, if there are complaints or incidents reports, they will okay. be dealt with according to the law. It's okay, it's a good buy -in. Come again? We saw cases of ballot snatching and vote buying, and then we saw a clip in why EFCC was. Yeah, that is why I said that the Nigerian electoral system is not yet perfect yet. It's not yet perfect yet. These are some of the lapses that are still there. And until we see them, we can't generalize. You understand? Right. Having seen, having noticed that uh, we have seen the shadow of vote buying in that uh, the state election, it's not good. It's not. It's not up to us now to see how we can tidy up the loose, uh, those loose areas, and to see how we can foster vote buying. In fact, for me, I think that the electoral act need to look into again is for a second time. But the truth is, where well, we all still stand on still transparency in terms of the INEC and in terms of still then the big players. And who are the big players is who are the big players is the people that we've been that we are looking upon them they should be our leaders. That if not for anything, the APC and the PDP uh, Labour Party, yes, we all look upon them should be the bigger players. That if not for anything, they lift all of them, they need to all of them, they need to live above board. Yes, in, in terms of would been that they should not buy vote first beyond them buying votes and they should which mean that they should still make the whole process should look transparent that all of us will all be proud of what the mr president have already signed